morning lifestyle lovers welcome back to it's e lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it is all about creating the lifestyle that you love okay lifestyle lovers so happy monday today is monday it is the start of a new vlog and i'm getting ready to head into the office so i'm just basically packing up i'm not taking a lunch but i am going to take breakfast because typically I'll get into the office, start working, never eat breakfast, lunchtime rolls around and I'm starving. So I do try to take like a little light breakfast because I can't get it once I get into the office because we have like a full service cafeteria, but I just get so busy and I never do it. So I went to the store yesterday So I went to the store yesterday. What I've been loving, loving, loving is these Thomas English Muffin Cinnamon Raisin Bagels. Now at first I was just topping them with some cinnamon sugar, Lando Lakes butter. I think I'm out of that. So one of my coworkers, let's see. So one of my colleagues told me that she uses this on her bagels. So this is the Philadelphia Honey Pecan. So I've been spreading this on my cinnamon, uh, my cinnamon raisin English muffin, and it's been so, so good. So I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna like pack up, pack up my lunch bag so at least I can eat breakfast because I can just warm this up in the toaster you know, and just kind of eat that while, while I'm working. And then I'm gonna take a banana because I bought these for my grandson King. He loves, loves bananas. So I bought these to have when he comes over, um, but he'll be over tomorrow. But typically, sometimes they go bad because I forget they're in there. So I'm gonna take a banana and two of them tore up, so I'm gonna just throw these away. And I'll save that one for King tomorrow. And instead of me taking like several water bottles to work, I'll just take like my Starbucks cup and just kind of fill it up. I may take one other, um, one other bottle just so I can, I don't know how many ounces it is. Oh, this is 24 ounces. So this is a 24 ounce cup. And I have some left. And then I'll just get me another, another water bottle. So let me show you quickly what I'm wearing. So when I show lifestyle lovers, when I show you my outfits, it's simply for inspiration. Because a lot of the items that I show are old and I've had for a while. I've been on my job. Well, I've been working for the same corporation for 21 years. 21 years I've been working for the same corporation for a very long time. So I've been in corporate America for a very, very long time. I plan to retire soon too. I'm, I'm working on that. But, um, so I have like tons and tons of work, work wear, corporate work wear. I don't buy, you know, buy things really that often. Every now and then, you guys know I'll go on Express or, you know, I'll go on Target and pick something up. But for the most part, I very rarely buy new work clothes. So I just, when I show you what I'm wearing, it's just to kind of give you some inspiration. Let me put my heels on so you can get the full look. Okay, lifestyle lover. So this is my workout fit for today. So basically just a bright red top. Looks like it has a little kind of like tie situation right here. Um, and then a skirt has like, I think like large blue flowers, has a little gold detailing right here. And of course, with the gold detailing, I just paired it with my 
Nine West. Let me step back. I paired it with my Nine West Rena sandals. These are the Tom Ford dupes. And I have my Bottega dupes earrings, which I love these. I purchased these off of Amazon, so I shared these a few vlogs back. I purchased them in gold and silver. And I'm ready to go. Lifestyle lovers, I want to show you my flowers. So I told you on the last vlog, like when I go into the florist, I ask the florist questions. One of the things that they told me was change your water often. That's another way to make your flowers last. So anytime the water starts to get, you know, starts looking a little, little dirty, basically what it is, I'll change it out. So that is what I did yesterday. I changed the water out. My flowers are bright as ever. Look at how beautiful they are. Just to be sure I always have flower food on hand because I know sometimes we don't have those little packets. I purchased, let me see. This is what I purchased from Home Depot. This is the Bloom, Bloom Booster flower food, flower food. So this is how it looks. I'll link it below, but I just purchased this. That way I don't have to worry about always having those little packets that the florist gives you or that comes with your flower bouquet when you purchase them. Um, I always have it. And then it has like a little measuring cup. So if you have outdoor flowers, you use the bigger, the bigger spoon, but for the indoor flowers, you'll use the smaller spoon. So I just, I always have flower food on deck for my flowers. So basically I changed the water and put some fresh flower food in there. So hopefully they'll last me for another week or so. But okay, lifestyle lovers. So I'm gonna get into work. Um, I'll grab my coffee once I get into the office because we do have a Starbucks in the building. And I'll check back with you guys once I get home because I do have some items arriving today that I wanna share with you guys. So see y'all later. lifestyle lovers so it is the next day it is the top of the morning and i'm getting ready to start um my morning drinking my morning cup of coffee you guys know i got to have my coffee but i am learning how to uh, work my new nespresso machine more and more and let me tell you let me show you my favorite pods so far so the ones that I have been loving, let me sit you guys over here. I ain't trying to make y'all dizzy. So the pods that I have been loving is Tokyo Longo. This is like one of my favorite ones. I think this, I only have maybe like two left. And this one is a filter style. Ooh, girl filter style mile. So th these are like my two favorite ones so far. So I kind of been using these and not really the other ones. This one filter style because you gotta have to pull it back. So, but this is like my favorite. So I'm almost out of these. So the next time I place an order, I probably get two boxes of these. And then this one as well I like. So I've been learning how to use it. I've been enjoying it. It's not as fabulous as I <laughs> as I thought it was. I think I kind of went for the color and the style, but um, it doesn't really froth the milk that well. It actually really steams it, kind of like what they do at Starbucks. You know, it's steamed milk, but um, I kind of pulled out my uh, Nespresso frother to kind of froth it. So if you want that frothy look, it doesn't do that as as good as like a regular frother, but it's not mixing it around. It's just steaming it. So I just wanted to share with you lifestyle lovers what I received right quick. Let me just set y'all down. What came in the mail? Okay. So I received some items from Joe Malone. I've already unboxed it. But I made the decision that I'm just going to like use Jo Malone fragrances in my living room. 
not throughout the house because it can get too expensive but i purchased a candle and this is in the fragrance uh peony and blush so i basically just have the fragrances in the powder room. so basically i'll just use Jo malone fragrances in the powder room but this is the peony and blush this is the um I think this is the deluxe candle, I wanna say. This is the deluxe candle. And I also purchased the Reed Diffuser in Peony and Blush. So I'm not going to open it yet because I kinda wanna do a reel first. Um, I wanna do a reel. So once I do it, I'll insert it, insert it after this clips. Oh, Jesus. That candle is heavy as hell. But I'm going to show you kind of how I'm going to set it up on the coffee table. So this is how the coffee table is currently set up. This is a dossier candle. These candles smell really, really good. Very high in fragrance, but they don't burn evenly, as you can see. So I probably just burn these upstairs. And this one is about to run out. This is the Jo Malone Lavender and Moonflower. In my opinion, this is the best, and I've said this on my channel, the best home scent from Jo Malone. This smells so, so good. If you're gonna try a scent, I would definitely try this one. This is the Lavender and Moonflower. The only thing is, it doesn't come like in a clear jar like the other one. It comes in a blue jar, but it only has like a little bit left in it. So I'm going to just move this over here somewhere. Where are we going to put it? I'll just put it right here on top of there because that's almost gone. It's just like a little, maybe like a little corner corner left in there so we'll just place that right there on the shelf and then bring the new Joe Malone over here and I think I'm gonna sit that right there so that'll go right there and then We'll have the reed diffuser right there. So basically, this is how it'll look. So this is how my coffee table is looking. I think when I shared it with you lifestyle lovers last time, I had my uttermost, I had my uttermost kind of tall spears behind it. And you some of you said it kind of looked too crowded. So I was like, well, maybe it does. So I did move them over here on the on the shelf. So once I do the reel, I'll insert it in. So yeah, that's pretty much the coffee table set up for right now. Once I do the reel, I'll insert it so you guys can see it. And then I'll check back in with you either later on today because I did do some shopping. Um, I went in Express and I tried on some stuff. And I love Express. Most of you lifestyle lovers know that I love Express. But they had a sale online, not in the store. So I kind of went in the store, tried on some stuff, and then went home and ordered it. Um, so, of course, it's not here yet. You probably won't even see it in this vlog. But I wanted to kind of share with you um, what I ordered. So I am going to do that at some point in this vlog. But it's time for me to get my day started. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Okay, lifestyle lover. So I did not get to finish the reel. I end up wasting some of the oil out of the reed diffuser trying to. I was trying to place this little bow around the top of the um this was around the the uh the reeds, the reed stems, and I was trying to place this bow around the top of the bottle kind of like they have it when you go into the store and it end up 
falling on the table. Some of it wastes, not a lot. I was able to retrieve it, but it wastes on my book. Look at my time for it book. Oh my God. Let me get something to try to get that up. I got most of it up, but I just said forget it because let me get a paper towel. Let me try to get this up because now it's starting to mess up my time for book. Oh my God. Trying to film content and do reels is not as easy as it looks. I don't know if it looks easy, but it's not. And it can get kind of frustrating sometimes. So I was like, you know what? Forget it. So I did not film the reel. I might just do something else. I was trying to do like a the whole, the whole you know, unboxing and everything. But that didn't work out. So I just kind of wanted to come back on camera. And, I, and I've ruined my, my time for a book. Look at that. So this is how it looks from wasting the oil on it. So I'm going to have to actually keep something there now. But this is how the coffee table looks. I just wanted you guys to kind of see it. So this is how it looks. This is from Home Goods. These, this is the Tom Ford white book. This is the Tom Ford black book um, case because there, it, that, that black book comes with the case. So the actual book is up here. It's at the top of my bookshelf. So that's just the case. This is from CB2. And then this is uh, a terrazzo ball from CB2 as well. And then the marble coffee table is made by Hooker Furniture. So this is how it looks. I just wanted you guys to get a look at it. Um, but the reel didn't work out so I'll check back in with you guys later that just kind of that just kind of frustrated me and just added my anxiety so I need to calm down see y'all later turn it down okay lifestyle lovers so it's a little later on this evening I got my grandsons here and we're planning to have an ice cream party but King will not go to the party the daycare say he's going backwards on the potty. So nobody getting ice cream until you go to the potty. Oh no. Are you going to the potty? You ready? See if he'll go to the potty. So this is what we have. We have some caramel syrup. We got our waffle bowls. And then we have cherries, bananas, heat the bar candy, marshmallows. Oreos and sprinkles. And then we got King fighting. Take him to the pot, Mookie. Yes, he do got to use it. He need to go. Cause he gonna go after he gonna go after we eat this ice cream. Stop, y'all. Stop for you heard him. You got the potty? Well, y'all not getting no ice cream. Me? Nobody. So King go to the park. Oh. You got your phone, Messiah. So yeah, we're trying to have a quick little ice cream day if um King go to the pot. King, you going to the pot? Well, I'm about to eat some ice cream. Come on, Messiah, let's eat some ice cream. Okay. You want ice cream? You got to go to the pot. You ready to go to the bathroom? You going to the bathroom? I go to the bathroom. Once he go to the bathroom, y'all, we'll we'll get to our ice cream party. Oh, oh. He, he's so stubborn. He won't use pot. Well, we ain't eat no ice cream. We got No bowl, no bowl till you go to the party. You going to the bathroom? Go take him to the bathroom, okay? Cause he, Cause he ready. No ice cream. You got to go to the potty. Come on, potty. Then just don't no ice cream. Uh, ice cream. No, you got to go to the potty. You got to go to the potty, King. 
Why he got Cause he ain't used the bathroom, and the, and the lady say he going backwards on the pot. You want some more? She say he just pee pee peeing in his clothes. You go to the pot. That's it. You go to the pot. Okay, well you ain't getting on. Uh, no, nope, you got to go to the pot. You want some? Stop! Why you keep touching all the bowls? Just leave the bowls alone. You just touch your own bowl. I get a bowl. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So it's a little later on tonight. My grandsons were very underwhelmed with the ice cream party that I was trying to arrange for them, especially King. He did not. He did not go to the bathroom, so he did not get any ice cream. <laughs> And they throw most of it away. So babe is here. We had dinner. So I end up cooking the marry me salmon. Just like the marry me chicken that I share a few vlogs back. I used the same concept. The only thing that I did different this time was I, I should have took a picture. I guess I could use a picture that I took earlier. Um, the only thing that I did different was I... Um, place the salmon on some penny pasta with some spinach. It was really, 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 really good. Um, so that's what we had. So we're just having our ice cream sundae bowls. I have marshmallows, Heath, Heath bar bits, and cherries. And Babe has... The Oreos, Heath Bar. Oreos, Heath Bar, and yeah. caramel. And caramel. And, caramel. Yeah. and I have caramel as well. So it's, oh, I have marshmallows and caramel as well. It's really, really good. So this is the nightcap. We typically have wine, but we have an ice cream tonight. <laughs> it's the nightcap. So I'm going to have an office day in the morning, lifestyle lover. So I was just coming back on camera. To let you guys know we're winding it down for tonight and I'll check back in with you tomorrow how long did it take you to do that morning lifestyle lovers happy Wednesday same shit different day so I'm getting ready to head into the office. I'm pouring my water. I'm using my matte black Starbucks cup. This is old. But I think when these cups came out, they came out in the red. Do I have the red? I think I got the red one too. But I went all around town, child, looking for this damn cup. And I found it. Um, but I said I'm going to start using my cup. So I'm just pouring my water, drinking my coffee, but I'm gonna take my water so I can kind of drink my water throughout the day. This is what I'm wearing. I I had planned to wear this last week, but I didn't wear it. So I'm wearing it this week. I think I told you guys I was gonna pair this kimono with all black, which is what I, I did. Let me wash my straws. I'm gonna put my heels on and show you guys what I'm wearing. If you guys think I be doing the most for work, I do not. Because when I tell you all the ladies in the corporation that I work for, they look so nice. <laughs> Everybody, and I'm not just talking about our brown girls, because you know us brown girls, baby, we overdo it. I'm talking about women of all ethnicities, okay? They be looking good when they come into the office. So I do not be overdoing it, because you know, all of the women, they look really nice. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put my heels on so you guys can see the complete look, and these pants are long. So just to tell you where everything's from, J Lux label, um, and I, I had the pants altered and they're still long. 
this is express this is like a v-neck tee a soft cotton tee very very soft and this is from the fee noel and target collection when they uh collaborated with fee noel and target sold out but it's available on ebay and macari i shared that with you guys last week let me put on my heels so you can see the full look Okay, lifestyle lovers, so this is today's look for work. I just kind of tied it in the back. That way I don't have to be fooling with it. It'll just stay like that and just like serve as a kimono for my bag. I've switched out to my Goyard green tote and then for my work bag. Same old, same old. We got the coach tote. I need to take some of my stuff out of my Goyard bag. But just like I was saying, lifestyle lovers, like the ladies in the... Mm. Oh, shit. Did I pop something? Oh, my God. I hope I didn't pop something. I might need to tighten. I might need to loosen this. I just heard a pop. I may need to loosen this... Um, this tie in the back hold up give me one moment y'all i forgot to share my fragrance with you guys this is the this uh is the it came like with a scarf and i actually forgot that i had this scarf because i was planning to take it back um so when i purchased all of the other pieces i purchased the scarf because i have the swimsuit as well if you guys seen that i shared it a few vlogs back but I'm glad I decided to keep the scarf. So I just went ahead and kind of just wrapped it around for a little look. These are from Amazon, Anna Luisa, and then we have Amazon, Amazon rings. And I forgot to share my fragrance with you guys, but I am wearing the Jo Malone Moonlit Chamomile. So this smells so good. It has like a feminine slash masculine um smell to it in my opinion because actually most of joe malone fragrances are supposed to be unisex i don't believe that to be the case for all of them but this one could that could definitely serve as a a man a man could wear this as something light but what i was going to say to you lifestyle lovers was the first time that i seen anyone carry a goyard tote in jacksonville was when I went to work because Goyard is kind of like quiet luxury, um, so to speak. And the reason why I say that is because if someone sees you carrying it, most of the time, I'm not going to say most of the time because I don't know if that is that if that's the case. But sometimes people don't know the brand. Just like if you see a Louis Vuitton never full, everybody knows what a Louis Vuitton never full is. The Damar print as well as the, the regular print. But if someone will see you carrying a Goyard tote, it's kind of like if you know, you know. And everybody doesn't know and they don't advertise. Like you don't see commercials for them. I have seen advertisement in like magazines. Maybe like a, a Vogue or something like that. But, but they don't advertise their product. You cannot buy it online unless you buy it pre-loved. And basically, they're not everywhere. I purchased my Goyard tote in Dallas probably around this time last year. And the quality is impeccable. And it's, it, you know, when you go into the store, when you go, do they let one person in the store? I can't remember. I know we had to stand in a line to get in the store. But it's not like when you go in Louis Vuitton, you know how you can take your camera and stuff like that. Because I've seen videos here on YouTube in Louis Vuitton. I have videos shopping in Louis Vuitton. It is not that type of experience. They have like signs where you cannot uh, have your camera out and all of that. So it's, it's an experience and I love it. I love the quality. I would actually purchase another one. I do want a crossbody bag. So maybe at some point... I'm going to add a crossbody in my collection. But I did do, when I purchased this, uh, when I purchased this tote, 
I did a, I need to take some stuff out of it because it's too heavy, but look how thick the straps are. Very, very thick. But when I purchased this tote, I, um, I did a review. If you want to know all about my experience and, you know, all of the deets on this tote, this is the Artos MM, if I'm not mistaken. I'll link that video in the description box so you can check it out. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out the door, start my work day. I do have some afternoon meetings, so I need to get to work, go ahead and prep for that. And then I'm gonna check back in with you guys um, once I get home, because I do wanna share some other items that I purchased, and then we'll go ahead and close the vlog out. So, see you later. I'm gonna turn my eye robot off. Girl. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So it's a little later on in the evening. Um, I just kind of changed into something a little bit more comfortable, but I still have on my kimono and my headband because I was um, trying to film a reel. So if I get it together, it'll be <laughs> at the end of this vlog because I was trying to kind of make up for me trying trying to film the reel the reel a little early in the vlog when the when the um, the reed diffuser failed and waste. So I had some audio that I wanted to do a reel on. So if I if I get it right, it'll be at the end. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you guys before I close out the vlog, simply because Express is having a 30 to 50% off sale for the 4th of July. I'm also drinking me a little glass of wine. It's probably about 8.30. So I'm just home chilling. So I have my laptop. I'ma just put up like a screen record so you guys can see what I ordered. But I wanted to share this with you guys so you can get it on sale, baby. Um, and I can't wait. So I've already ordered this stuff. It should be here um, between this weekend and next week. So I love dresses. You guys know that I love dresses. It's something flying a fucking around here. I'm sorry. Excuse my language, but it's something flying around here. And it better not go on my wine glass. But you guys know I love like dresses and jumpsuits. So I ordered this sexy maxi dress. And the thing is called a convertible twist cutout maxi sweater dress. I ordered it in a size small. It comes in three different colors. But I, I, I love black. I don't know if you guys can tell that. I cannot get away from black. So I was trying to... I was trying to decide between like the nude color and the black and I end up going with black. I ordered it in a small, but the thing about this dress um, is you can turn it around. So you can wear it this way, it'll be up on the screen or you can wear it, turn it around and wear it with the back out. So that's one of the things that I ordered, Lifestyle Lovers. I also ordered these pants. These are the high-waisted satin pleated trouser pants. Now, I went in Express first and try. I didn't try that dress on. Um, I don't even think I've seen that dress, but I went in Express earlier this week and I tried a few things on. But I will tell you, because some of you lifestyle lovers have expressed that Express is expensive and they are, but the sales are always online. So if you do not mind waiting on your pieces, go in, try the stuff on, see what size you need, and check out the online sales because when I went in there and tried the stuff on, they had a sale on dresses that day. And then the next day they had a sale on pants and shorts. So I ordered these, I ordered these in a size six. Now also what I ordered, cause I placed two orders. Um, so also what I ordered, if you guys remember a few weeks ago, I went in Express and I tried on this this is the Satin Floral Boyfriend Portofino Maxi Dress. But I wanted to wear it as a dress, but you remember I was telling you the cut, the cut was weird because I tried it on in an extra small and it still looked, looked big. It just wasn't like, you know, kind of like fitted to me. But once I tried it on with these pants, it looked so good so I would wear it kind of like a kimono like I wore this today to work with a pair of of pants it looks 
so good lifestyle lovers i'm telling you so i ordered that in an extra small the dresses were on sale and i also ordered this sleeveless blazer jumper this looks so good trust me when i tell you this looks so good this was on sale um, and I ordered this in a size four. I tried this on in the store as well because it comes in black, it comes in orange, and it comes in like a brown. I tried the brown on in a size four. It has like the high, uh, what do they call it? Shoulder pads. It look good. It look good. So I ordered this as well. And I got it in the color black. And I also ordered this. Okay, lifestyle lovers. I had to delete some footage in order to keep filming and I need to get some memory cards because this is getting too ghetto. So I gotta put that on my list. So the 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 next thing that I purchased was the Body Contour High Compression Double V-neck Tank. Oh, okay, I thought this was a bodysuit, but it's a tank. So I purchased this to wear with the pants as well. I love Express Body Contour stuff. It fits so well, but I, I thought this was a bodysuit. So I will basically pair this the same way the model has it paired with the with the pants. When I tried it on in the store, I tried it on with this. I'll just I don't know what it was, but I just kind of felt like it was almost cut like a swimsuit, like a bikini, and um, I'll be wearing this to work. So I did not want that cut for work. I think this probably would be a little bit more, you know professional so this is what i purchased to wear with the pants so i plan to do the pants this tank as well as the shirt dress and just kind of keep it open it's gonna look good because i'm gonna do a try on haul for you guys and so the last thing that i purchased well no it's not the last thing i purchased the denim puff sleeve corset button up mini dress this was really really cute on as well i tried this one in the store but i tried on a small it is a mini dress. It's really, really short. Um, I sized up to a medium when I ordered online because I felt like with the small, if I bend over, you're gonna see my whole ass. So the small was cute and it fit, but it was too short, but it's a mini dress. So it's gonna be short. So I plan like to pair this like with some cute little um, sneakers. This was so cute on, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to go get this stuff. Okay, and then so last I ordered, um, a swimsuit so this is the top to the swimsuit i ordered this in a size medium um it's the printed balconette body con con no i ordered this is the bottom to the swimsuit i ordered this in a size medium and then i ordered the matching top which is the printed balconette body contour swim top i ordered the top in a small because i'm small up here but i'm a little bit larger down at the bottom so I ordered the swimsuit to pair as well with the shirt dress. So, you know, I can use that kind of the same way that I wore this with the swimsuit. So all of these items should be here, like I said, between the weekend and next week. Um, and I plan to do a try on haul. But I did not try the swimsuit on, but I did try the denim puff sleeve dress. I tried those pants on in the store. I tried that jumpsuit on in the store, the shirt dress in the store um and all of it fit good good it looks so good but i wanted to share this with you guys just in case you want to get some of these pieces express has a sale this weekend i will link them in the description box and last but not least on the last vlog i was sharing with you guys my cutout blazer that i got from express and i was telling you that um target had some similar bla blazers for for a price way less than, than what i paid which my blazer is on sale now i will tell you the cut is different it's not the same cut which i figured it was not going to be um the blazer from express is more of a tailored cut it fits better however when i went to link the blazer from target it was on sale for thirty dollars I, I don't think it's still on sale but it was when i went to link it for you guys and i purchased one so they have it in black and green and I think another color. Of course, I was not gonna order it in black because I have the express one, but I did order the green. So I'm gonna try it on right quick for you guys. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So this is the blazer. I ordered it, I ordered it in a size small. It's a real 
beautiful green. I don't know. Is this that Bottega green? It might be. But as I told you, the cut is a little bit different because it's a little bigger. I have, let me bring you guys up. My Express, my jacket from Express is a size small as well, but it's like a more tailored cut. It fits a little bit different. And this jacket has two buttons and the one from Express has like one button. But it does fit good. I like it. I'll probably be wearing this to work next week. So let me just button it up so you guys can see it. So this is how it looks in the back. So real cute. So I went ahead and purchased this just so I can have it in this color. So So yeah, lifestyle lovers, that's all that I purchased this week. As far as the blazer, I, I would definitely prefer the one from Express. But if you just want it, if you just want it for the look and you don't want to spend the money from Express, then I would definitely recommend to get this one. It's just, you know, it's just not as not as good as the one from Express. But um, but that's it for this vlog, lifestyle lovers. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm getting ready to kind of wind down for the night. I have work tomorrow um, and it's a holiday weekend. So I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. It's a lot going on this weekend, 4th of July. Essence, I wish I was going to New Orleans for Essence, but I'm not going. I kind of tried to go at the last minute, but I wasn't able to work it out. My sister is gonna be there, but that's okay. Cause I've been, I've been a few times, so I have, been able to enjoy the Essence Festival before, so I'm not going this year, but if if you guys are traveling, I hope you're being safe. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you have a great week, a great weekend. Whenever you're watching this, a safe holiday, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.